Hello everyone, Jack is back. First off, I'd like to thank everybody who uh, sent me good get well wishes. It uh, helped boost my spirit a whole lot. I thank you very much for that. And uh, I'm mending quite well, but it's still sore as heck. And I don't have a whole lot of strength in it yet. And uh, until I can, it's my right leg. Uh, until I can get uh, flexibility and strength in that, I'm not going to be able to uh, drive. And the way it's going now, it's probably going to be a, probably another month before I'll be strong enough to uh, drive safely, which is good. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let me show you this. This is from uh, 3D Lock Sport. It's called an Educational Lock and Pins. And a uh, real neat little device. It shows you a cross section of a uh, cylinder and that has uh, pen tumblers in it. This one right now is set up uh, with a key pen and a spool in it. This white thing is the core, and these little handles you act as a tension for it. So if you were to put your tension wrench in there and turn it, you would see it go like this. It rocks back and forth, which gives you a clue that it probably has security pins in it, probably spools. That or it just has really bad tolerance. But to give an idea of what a spool feels like, you would use your pick to push up on here while giving it some tension and there you can see that the uh, spool is stuck there on the lip. It can't go any further. So what you have to do is let off on the tension a bit while pushing up on it and then clear the if we saw that a second ago, went that way, that's counter rotation, that's what you're trying to feel when you're doing that. You'll be pushing up on the, uh, the pin and letting off on the tension, then you'll be able to drive the uh, spool up past the shear line and rotate the cylinder like that. Now, the kit comes with various types of pins. Here you can see this is a serrated. This is a uh, standard driver pin right here. This is a mushroom. You can see that. And this is a T-pin and has two little wafers in there as well. So you can uh, interchange all these uh, driver pins and uh, key pins to whatever lock you uh, want to pick and feel what kind of pins what they feel like inside the lock. It's a very neat little device and it all comes in this little pouch that you can keep everything together and easy to store. Now for what we got here this is a package from Chris Chris Capoon. Uh, we did a uh, trade. I sent him a couple of old herd locks and an Elko and a little Squire uh, lever lock. And he was going to send me some uh, locks, hopefully lever locks, I think he was going to send me, which we will see. Let me get this open.
Stuff in there. Pull. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I wouldn't have thought of that. Very easy. Here we have a key. It's an ERA. There's a bidding on it. Oh, and here it is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Five lever padlock made in England. Insurance. Hardened shackle. And Suki. See how it goes. Smooth as butter. Yep, and you can see down in there. See five levers very plainly. Beautiful, Chris. Thank you. Wow. There's another one. This key doesn't have a uh, name on it, so this will be a surprise. Sterling, six lever. Look at that. Hard and steel shackle. Beautiful finish. And picture of Suki on there, and that means that he's picked these. So that means I have hope. And I might be able to pick it myself. It is smooth too. And this is. Uh, has a piece of metal here that blocks the uh, levers so that you can't see them. Just another gorgeous lock. Oh gosh. Wow. Thank you, Chris, for these. They're beautiful. Uh, he also has uh, my battleship that I sent him along with the other locks because the uh, key stopped working for some reason or other. It just wouldn't unlock it. And I tried picking it, I couldn't pick it at all. So he's going to work on that for me and see if he can get it to, uh, to unlock and open and I can pick it again. But in the meantime, as I'm kind of blessing, I shall be working on these two. I tell you, just gorgeous, just gorgeous, Chris. And thank you guys for watching, and I hope to make another video soon. Good night.